most small businesses really struggle to get capital at the beginning and then add on other layers, you know, that include even explicit discrimination. Um, it's really challenging to get financing from a traditional bank, at least within the first five years. Um, and then you can also add other factors like, you know, um, if you're new to the U.S. And, and even our culture is not a credit based culture. So people, you know, who come to the U.S. from other countries, it doesn't mean that they automatically subscribe into this system of like having credit cards and borrowing money like that's, you know, a lot of cultures are really just it's kind of like you have what you have and that's what you spend and you don't, you know, there's sort of nothing outside of that. And so part of it is a cultural shift of sort of figuring out that you have to have a credit score to really do anything in this country. And so, um, you know, something that LEDC does, but that's it's a, also a hindrance for folks to get financing through banks if um, if they are sort of newer arrivals is this credit building piece. So, you know, it, I think oftentimes the assumption is that people have poor credit, but a lot of the times it's just that you have no credit, um, you know, and many of us start our credit um, sort of track record with student loans. Um, so even if you didn't even get a credit card, like you have something to show that yes, over time you've been able to pay regularly, but that's not the case for everyone. And then of course, also sometimes people do get into trouble, you know, some one extraneous, extraordinary event can happen that can throw your credit off and then you're kind of out for a while when it comes to traditional financing. And I think that's what micro lenders are really good at is looking at the whole picture, understanding, you know, the person and their circumstance and not just sort of having a really rigid, um, you know, kind of black and white credit box, which is what banks do.